the New State Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. As expected, we woke up with the overcast, the damp and drizzly conditions once again this morning. We're still waiting for that wind shift. Uh, winds right now coming out of the southeast. We're waiting for a more south southwesterly wind to develop and finally mix down to the surface here in the Susquehanna Valley. And that is when we will see our boost in temperatures heading into the rest of this afternoon. Right now, though, those winds, like I said, out of the southeast, and we're still waiting on some showers to work their way in from the west. There is a cold front back in the western part of the state, uh, and these showers on along the leading edge of that cold front, which are basically dying off at this point. Some heavier rain in Mifflin County earlier, but as you you can see the last couple of frames, a lot of these uh, more intense areas of showers in that band are basically falling apart. So this area of showers is uh, drying up as it moves across the mountains. You can see that sharply defined back edge here to the clouds and the precipitation. That's where the cold front is. And that is what will be sweeping to the east and eventually helping to mix down some of those winds out of the southwest here into the surface. So as we go through the rest of today, I do expect it to remain mostly cloudy, especially through the rest of this afternoon. However, there will likely be a wind shift from the southeast to more west southwesterly, and we'll see those winds picking up. You'll notice as soon as the breeze picks up this afternoon, the temperatures will also rise pretty quickly. And along that cold front, there could be a few showers and even a rumble of thunder or two as the front finally makes its way through. But by the this evening, we'll start to get back into some clearing. It'll get back into uh, seeing a little bit more sunshine before the sun sets. Into tonight, though, uh, we'll start. Part, it'll stay partly to mainly clear. However, there is some upper-level energy still has to work its way through. So as that comes through, there could be a shower late tonight, more likely towards tomorrow morning. Otherwise, a, a mild relative to this time of the year for the low temperatures, and also a breezy night, 44 to 48 degrees for those lows. And then as we head into tomorrow, overall, not a bad way to start the weekend. We will have a few clouds around in the morning and maybe a sprinkle, but we will quickly turn mostly sunny through the day. Another breezy day, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, and it's actually shaping up to be a pretty nice Sunday ahead. But right now, our temperatures are quite chilly. We're in the mid 40s to some spots in the upper 40s uh, along the Mason Dixon line here, still under the influence of that easterly flow of air. But where the winds have shifted out of the south, we have already started to see that bump in temperatures. Richmond at 70 degrees, Washington, D.C. will likely hit 70 as that warmer air tries to surge to the north. It's just going to take its time and the biggest question is how quickly does that happen easterly winds still across the region more southerly as you go to Washington, D.C. and in Baltimore. We just saw Barbara there. Uh, so we expect to see some stronger thunderstorms down to our south. Here in the Susquehanna Valley, though, this overcast cloud deck is keeping us very stable. So as this cold front comes in, I don't expect much in the way of stronger thunderstorms, but a rumble of thunder could be possible. Here's the outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. Again, that higher risk or a slight risk will be south of Washington, D.C. Here's satellite radar again, and here's what it looks like through the rest of today. We have this warm front that is to our south, which will eventually lift to the north. That will help to destabilize the atmosphere just a little bit and allow for some thunderstorm activity, although the stronger storms will be down to our south. Into this evening, things quickly clear off to the east. We get back into some sunshine before the sun sets, and then through the overnight hours, a pretty calm one, although there could be a few clouds and maybe a sprinkle for tomorrow morning. That quickly goes away. High pressure builds in, although it will be a little bit breezy for us through the day tomorrow. Into Sunday, that high moves right over the top of us, so sunshine all day long expected, and actually we get back into more of a southerly wind during the afternoon, which will help boost the temperatures up just a few degrees. So the weekend itself looking really nice, 64 degrees for our Sunday, a pleasant day ahead. By Monday, another cold front will try and arrive, and that could give us a shower late Monday night and as we go into Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon, we are going to be clearing out, and actually Wednesday, another nice day ahead, pleasant with highs in the mid-60s. Upper 60s expected by the time we hit the end of the week. Another system could give us some rain on Friday. But overall, we'll watch for the shower or storm chance. Nothing severe and not, nothing nearly as active as what happened yesterday in the oh, West. Boy, those were some scary looking photos. Big tornadoes yeah. out there for sure. All right. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.